Today we're going to be talking about how you can show all values from a lookup function, not just the first value that lookup function finds. Now this is a little bit more of a complicated video, but I'm going to go slow and make sure that you understand it. So here we have a simple set of data, right? Obviously with this many entries, we don't need a lookup value unless we're creating some sort of dashboard or something. So generally you're going to be sifting through larger sets of data, but with a small set of data like this, it just adds simplicity so we can figure out how to do this. So here we just have a date, the name of someone and how much money they earned on that specific date, right? So let's say we want to look at Jack. So here we can see Jack has uh, four lines here. Uh, we'll just highlight that yellow. Um, so he has four lines here. If we were to do a simple VLOOKUP function, we're going to look up, we're going to look up Jack. Our table array is found here. We're going to want to display the second column because we want to know how much money he earned and we want an exact match. And so then if we um, turn that to currency, that's going to be $300, right? But Jack also appears here on 2-2 on the second for 350, the 13th for 355, and again on the 13th for 205. But we're only displaying that first. But what we want to do is display all four. And so no matter what we do, that VLOOKUP is never going to display all four unless we tweak it a little bit. Now the formula we're going to use to figure this out, we're going to use an index match lookup formula. So with a normal index match function, the way it works is you're going to index and I want this column to be displayed and then I'm going to do the match. Lookup value is going to be Jack. The lookup array is going to be in column C here and we want an exact match. So then again, that's going to bring us $300, but it's only going to display 300. It's not going to display the 350, 355 or 205, which we want it to do. So we have to make a little bit more of a complicated index match formula. And I'm going to show you how that's going to look right now. So follow, so follow along closely. So we're going to want to do an index to start and then the array or what you want displayed is again, column. We'll go ahead and lock that. And then before we do our match function, we're going to want to do the small function. And then for the array part of the small function, we're going to want to do an if statement. So if, and what we're going to want to do is select Jack. We'll lock that. If Jack equals column C, and we'll lock that as well. All right. And we're actually going to need one more parentheses there. And then we're going to do comma and this is, so this is part of our if statement. If that is true, so if Jack is found in column C, then we're going to want to do the match. And our lookup value, we're going to want to do row formula and then select the column we're searching. We'll go ahead and lock that. Close parentheses, comma. We're going to do another row function for the same column that we're searching, lock that in parentheses. Then we're going to end the parentheses twice, comma, blank, or quote, quote, right, which is essentially blank. Close parentheses, comma, we're then going to do a rows plural function. And what this is going to do, and what we want to do here is we can do this for any column, but we're just going to do A1. We're going to lock that cell. And then we're going to do colon through a one unlocked and parenthesis. Then we hit enter and then we'll just hit enter again for yes. It'll just add some extra parentheses for us. And that's going to display 300, which is still only one lookup value. But then if I drag this formula down as far as I want, it's then going to display every value in column D when Jack is found. So then it will display this hashtag number exclamation mark when there are no more values to be found. So here we can see the 300, 350, 355, and 205, which are the four entries Jack has. And now this will also work if we say we want to switch to Anna here, who has looks like two entries. We'll just put her green. If we switch to Anna, 
then our formula will automatically update and display the 125 and the 215 and then use this when there are no more values available. So now we can upgrade this formula a little bit more because we don't want it to display this ugly mess when the values are done. We just want it to be blank. So the formula we can add is we go to the front of the formula, we can do an if error function. So if error, so the value of this, if that is an error, then we just want to do blank. So quote, quote, we'll hit enter. And then we can drag that all the way down. And so then instead of having that ugly number error for us, it's just going to leave it blank. So then it'll just display those two values for us that the lookup function found. So this formula also works if you're looking for two values. So say you're looking for, so we're going to go back to Jack here. And let's say that you also, you only wanted to display Jack's earnings for 12, 2, 13, 2023. So right now the formula is only searching for Jack. It's not including this date we just entered. And we'll just delete the previous V lookup in the next match, all right? So then to tweak the formula, we're just going to want to go here to this part, part of the if statement. So we want it to search for Jack, and then we can just do an and sign and that date. We'll go ahead and lock that. So then here we'll go, we want it to search that through column C and where the date is found in column B. And we'll go ahead and lock that. And then if we hit enter, and then we drag this down, it's then going to display just these two values, the 355 and 205, because it's searching for Jack on the 13th of this month, which are just these two values here. So hopefully you followed along that entire time. Honestly, this formula is incredibly useful to know because there are so many times when you're looking up a value in Excel and it has more than one answer. So this way you can display all of them. And this works for anything, no matter the scenario.